DSS declared Sunday Igbo who wanted also confirmed killing two of his allies. The Department of State Service confirmed the attack on Sunday's Igbo who resident. They also confirmed killing two of his allies and they arrested like 12 people in regards to the same um, crime. You know, they paraded them on Thursday and then they announced actually there were allegations that uh, Sunday Igboho staged this uh, attack in order to stir up pity uh, from Nigerians but rather the DSS came out and said no we actually went to this house and attacked and we also killed two people and then they now declare Sunday Igboho wanted and then up to now we have not seen or heard from Sunday Iboho himself and I believe he's still alive, very much alive. Well during the raid they recover some ammunition and stuff. Take a look at the pictures. Here are the items recovered from uh, Mr. Sunday Iboho's house. I'm certain that they are going to charge him to court based on owing this. Uh, they will label it uh, illegal ammunition because I believe some of these ammunition don't have permission to be in Nigeria or any license uh, from the government. So certainly uh, this will be part of the evidence that the DSS are going to present to the court based on the fact that he doesn't have all those uh, licenses for this ammunition. I'm sure, I'm, I'm very sure about that. The list go on and on and on. Here are the list. They recover 7 AK-47 rifles. 3 pump action guns, 30 fully charged AK-47 magazine, 5,000 rounds of 7.62 mm ammunition, 5 cutlasses, 1 jackknife and 1 pen knife, 2 pistol holders, 1 binoculars, wallet containing $5 in $1 denomination, local driver's license in its name. ATM card, German resident permit, number on the screen, two whistle, five cartridges, 18 walkie talkies, three voodoo charm jacket, a traditional body arm, so they call it, uh, two laptops, one Toshiba and one compact, his international passport and many others display on the screen. It seems like a trend now, the Nigerian government seems to be going after the activist leaders. Recently they arrested uh, Enam Dikanu and now they have gone after the activist leader which is uh, Sunday Igboho, the Yoruba. So the East and the West are in turmoil at this very moment because of what is going on. We hope that Nigeria will get better and then finally, I think there should be a better way to go about all this kind of stuff. The arrest we should always remember that um, we are human beings first before any other thing. We should have empathy for each other because you cannot quench fire with fire. You can only quench fire with water and that is the most important thing we should be considering at this very moment in Nigeria because everybody is vexed up and then uh, you cannot go to people who are already vexed up and then light up a fire while they are holding petrol. The whole place will catch fire actually. There should be a relationship between the DSS police and the people. The police should understand that they are there for the people and the people should understand that the police are actually serving them to make life better. You understand? Uh, for now, Mr. Sunday Igboho is on the run. Uh, according to the DSS that they're going to track him. But uh, it will be a long run and it will be a long tracking as well. I'm not sure it's any time soon if they ever succeed actually. At the end of the day, uh, we are in a situation in a country whereby a lot of things are not just right. And we should just be our brother's keeper. We should just walk in love with each other. Is very important at this very crucial moment because everybody is vexed up and everybody is edgy. The south, the east, the west and the north, everything is edgy. Uh, it could be that we are holding a time bomb in our hands and we don't even know about it. 
So we should be careful in how we treat each other. It's very important. It's very, very important if we have to survive as a nation. This is the end of my presentation at this very moment. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay safe and stay blessed.